This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite L955 laptop computer with a cracked screen and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite L955 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work on. And that means disconnecting all sources of power. And that means removing the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over. And right by the battery, there's two levers. So we slide both of them outward. And we slowly remove the battery. Let's try it again. Slide the lever out and remove the battery. This one's a little bit tricky because it's kind of in there. So you can grab it by the ends, by the fingernails, and slide it out like this. And then we put the battery aside. Now, while we're on the bottom, I'm going to show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a label that says Toshiba at the top. And right below it says Satellite L955S5360. This procedure will work for all versions of the L955. OK, so we flip the laptop over. And we take a look. For this type of computer, for this type of laptop, we need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, in order to get to the screen assembly. But before we do that, I'll go over the tools that we're going to need for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver. A 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to uh, help us pry things open. Uh, exacto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed tip and that's to remove the plastic or rubber screw covers and to remove adhesive tape and finally a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or manipulate small wires. Okay so the first thing we want to do is remove the screen bezel and in order to remove the screen bezel we have to remove four screws which are hiding behind two screw, screw covers on the top and two screw covers on the bottom. So we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to do that. We take one off and two. And what like to do with the screw covers is put them right next to the screw opening so I don't lose them. We do the same on the bottom. One and Next, we're going to use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws. So let's get a, good, a better angle for this. One. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together. So this is our fourth screw that we're going to remove. Like so. Once we do that, we're going to snap off the screen bezel. And what I like to do for that is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently pry up and pull outwards and the bezel should snap up, snap off. Sometimes if that doesn't work, if you can't get a good grip on the inside, you can also snap it off from the outside and just gotta play around with it and take your time on this. This is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure, but in itself it's not really that hard either, especially for this model. Okay, so keep going around the bezel do the same thing on the bottom and then just lift the bezel up and remove it and put it to the side. 
Okay, now we have the screen assembly exposed, and for this type of screen, it has it's mounted to the back of the screen assembly with some mounting tabs, which are held by two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So all we need to do is remove these screws next, and once again, we we'll use our PH1 electronics screwdriver. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Like so. And you can also try using the smaller PH00 screwdriver for these. It gets a little bit better grip. And make sure you don't lose the screws like I did. Here it is. And once again, keep them in the same pile. I'm going to go back to the PH1 screwdriver because it's magnetized and I don't lose the screws that way. Okay, once we remove all the screws, once again, make sure the screen is tilted back a little bit. Gently pull the screen forward and it should come down and gently put it down. Okay, for uh, this type of screen, there's only one connector at the bottom, which we have to remove, and it's secured by some adhesive tape. So we use our X-Acto knife or a fingernail to lift up the adhesive tape so that we can get to the connector. And we pull the screen forward a little bit, and we loosen up this video cable so we can pull the screen forward a little bit more and then what we do is grip the video cable and the connector on the back behind the connector and gently pull it out like this okay before I go any further I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in when you slide the connector back in you feel but not hear two clicks and you got to make sure that it's properly engaged, otherwise the screen is not going to work. So let's get a good close-up. Pause the video right here. And yeah, pause the video right now and make sure your connection looks like that. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's keep moving. We pull the connector out again, and we take a look at this screen. This is a fairly common type of screen, especially for laptops made in 2012 or later. It's called a 15.6 slim screen, 15.6 LED slim screen. And for some reason, my camera doesn't want to focus on unless I do this. So it's it's different from uh, another 15.6 screen that's just the regular thickness, and the two won't work with each other. So you got to make sure you have the slim screen for this laptop. And the way you can do that is tell by the screen part number. And let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LP156WH3. That's all you need to know. LP156WH3. And when you do get the new screen in, most likely it will not have this exact same part number, but it will be a compatible screen with this. Now, we at Screen Surgeons also um, sell this screen. And uh, what you get with us is we have a toolkit, the same exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes for free with this screen, so you don't need any more tools. We also have fast delivery. We ship from warehouses in Atlanta and Las Vegas. So you'll get your screen fast if you live in your continental United States. We have a two-year warranty on these screens. So if it's not accidental damage, if it's something else during the two years, we'll send you another screen for free. And finally, we have free email technical support. So when you get your screen, if there's a problem, send us email and we'll help you walk through it. And also, if you live outside of the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure. So to order this screen from us, 
go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out that will guide you to the right screen to buy it online. Okay, once you do get the screen in, connect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly and make sure put the cable back in the guides like it was before. Put the two screws in at the top, the two screws in at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on and then once again put two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom and then the screw covers and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.